blind leaders of the blind. He, he said that it's not what goes in that defiles a man, but, but what comes out that defiles a man. After all of this, now he goes to the Gentiles. If he was sent to the lost sheep of Israel, why go to Gentile cities? Here was a test and a testimony against Israel. Matthew chapter 11, verse number 21, we see another example of this. Jesus said, woe unto thee, Chorazin, woe unto thee, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon. In other words, Jewish cities, if the mighty works that were done in you were done in this Gentile cities, they would have repented long ago with sackcloth and ashes. So Jesus is pronouncing a woe on those Hebrews who refused to understand and accept his teaching. He goes to the Gentile cities to show them what real faith well, looks right. like. That's right. Faith is a reliance on our sovereign Lord that's right. to be able to do all that you ask. That's right. Faith is not a wish. No. Faith is not hope. No. But true, deep down, no other help I know, reliance. Amen. That's well, it. it is an assurance. Uh -huh. That he knows best. Yes, he does. It is a guarantee supported by his word that with him, I can make it through the storm. Right. He may not take the storm away. No. He may not take me out of the storm. No. But my faith in him tells me I can make it through my storm. That's right. well, That's it. Once, once you have witnessed the mighty works of Jesus in your life. Your faith ought to increase. Yeah. And when your faith increases, some things ought to change. I, I say some things ought to change. If, if you truly believe that Jesus died for our sins, if you truly believe that we, our sins were washed away in baptism, some things ought to change. Our faith ought to increase to the point that we don't act the same way after we have been added that we used to act before. We ought to talk differently. We ought to treat each other differently because that's a manifestation of our growing faith. And let me tell you, if you had any prayers answered, any ways made, any disasters averted, any problems solved, any sickness healed, yeah. some things ought to change. Yeah. Come on, Doctor. Israel showed their lack of faith yeah. because the mighty works of Jesus did nothing for them. So now he goes to the Gentiles. All right. So here, how come there's so many who are not in the body? That seem to have more faith than us in the Bible. The Lord should not have to go to someone other than his children to find the faith that he's looking for. And that's what's happening in our text. He was just with the Jews in Jerusalem and they want to jump on him because his disciples didn't wash their hands. You like, you mean to tell me the way y'all treating one another, the way y'all teaching and, 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 and abusing the law, the way y'all doing one another and, and then you talk about not washing hands? That's not showing no faith. So he goes to the Gentiles and as soon as he get there, he find a woman full of faith. Amen. Why does the Lord have to go outside the body to find somebody full of faith? Amen. It could be that we don't really know what faith looks like. And when you see that woman, that's what faith looks Amen. like. Amen. That's right. That's it. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm afraid uh -huh. that we don't know what faith looks like. Well, Here's a beautiful example. This Gentile woman knew who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. 
She wasn't a Hebrew, a child of Abraham. She, she was a Gentile. But she knew who Jesus was. She called him the Lord, the son of David. I, I keep wondering why Israel didn't know who he was. His claims were supported by many wonderful works. He was frequently used scripture to open their eyes and show them through prophecy that he's the one that comes. But here is a desperate woman looking for help. And she recognized who Jesus is. No doubt she had heard how he healed many and wanted the same for her daughter. No doubt word of his mighty works had reached her ears and now she seeks a savior. There's somebody here that day that ought to be seeking a savior because you heard of him and know who he is. Church, when we begin to tell somebody about Jesus, uh -huh. somebody will want to seek the Savior. Yeah. When we begin to tell them how he has moved in our lives yes, and how we are much richer now that we become by, members of the body of Christ, uh -huh. then somebody will want to seek the Savior. Uh -huh. When our friends, our relatives, our acquaintances, our co-workers hear about how he brought us up, and right. how he brought us through, and That's how he brought us out, That's somebody right. will want to seek Amen. the Savior. Our lives ought to be a living testimony yeah. of how the Lord comes through for his people. Yeah. If I had a great doctor, I'd tell everybody that was sick yes, sir. to go to my doctor. Yeah. Isn't that all right now? Yeah. If I had a great mechanic, if there was something wrong with your car, uh -huh. I'd say, you better go down here and see my mechanic. Isn't that yeah. right now? Yeah. If I had a great plumber, everybody I know who had leaky pipes, I would send them to my plumber. Right. Don't you know we got a great deliverer? Don't you know we've got a compassionate savior? Don't you know we got somebody who can do all things and take care of us throughout our situation and pull us up out our mess? We ought to tell somebody. Amen. You owe something, Doc. Yes, sir. And so because I know Jesus, I should tell everybody who's sad, discouraged, disappointed, depressed, I should tell everybody who's weak, weary, yeah. worn, and broke down. Uh -huh. I should tell everybody who needs help, yeah. needs direction, yes, needs comfort, or needs their sins washed away. Yeah. Since we know him, somebody ought to say something. So when she came, when she came, she asked him for mercy. She approaches him reverently and humbly yes, sir. she has a request but she knows she ain't worthy right. so she just said ask some mercy when we approach the Lord with reverence uh -huh. and humility right. the Lord takes notice Amen. if he would respond to the heathen right. what will he do for his child Amen. anybody here know that truth be told Sometimes in life, things pop up, and all you can say is, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Listen to some of the despicable deeds on the TV. Uh -huh. Listen to the news for a half hour. Yeah. All you can say is, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Gunshots in the streets, Lord. screeching Amen. tires. All you can say is, Lord, Lord have mercy. Isn't that all right? Huh? And so this woman came to the Lord. She said, you're the son of David. Uh -huh. You are the Lord. Yeah. Have mercy yeah. on me. Yes, sir. Her problem was that her daughter yes, sir. was vexed with a devil. Uh -huh. She didn't start out saying, cast this devil out of my daughter. Right. She said, have mercy. Yeah. 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 And that struck me because, see, most times when you ask, you ask for something specific. Right, right, right. Lord, help my finances. Right. Lord, help my job situation. Right. Lord, help my relationship. Uh, Lord, help my health. Lord, this is specifically what I want you to do. But she just said, have mercy. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, 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 that shows that shows she had faith in God not only to do what's necessary well, but to know what's necessary. Yeah. See, sometimes taking your problem away they ain't going to help you. Right. You're right. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Amen. Parents, we learned that raising our children, didn't we? Yeah. I can't come to your rescue on everything. Well, 
some things you just gonna have to work through. Some things you just gonna have to suffer through. I'm not paying your late bills. No, something you had to figure out on your own. Isn't that all right? We try to teach them so that they can go forward and be strong the next test. God knows. That's right. That's right. We would be some real wimps if he took away every problem that we ran into. We wouldn't be able to stand nothing. Yeah. But we, he also knows that there are times when we're in our mess that he can get some glory out of that. If we show our faith while we're dealing with our situation. And so this woman comes and she doesn't ask specifically to have the demon cast out. She said, Lord, have, have mercy. And I suspect there's many of us today going forward that we ought to be saying some more, Lord, have mercy. Here's evidence of faith. She knew he could do what she asked. So she asked. She didn't know if he would, but she knew that he could. So he asked. Somebody wrote, ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you, and he will carry you through. She didn't care for herself. She cared for her daughter. How many of you would go above and beyond for your child? Amen. Amen. How humble would you become uh-huh. for your child? Right. How many insults would you endure right. to get help for oh, yeah. your child? Come on. Only when you can humble yourself will you be able to approach Jesus with the right spirit. Amen. He doesn't owe you anything. Nope. But we receive all because of his grace. Amen. She asked. Sometimes we don't have because we don't ask. Other times we don't have even after we ask because we ask with the wrong intent. Our faith should compel us to ask. You don't already know his answer, so ask. He's your Lord, so ask. He's already done so much before, so ask. Ask the Lord. She figured, I ain't got nothing to lose. Well, that's right. My daughter's sick, and she's still going to be sick when I get back to the house Uh if I don't ask. So I might as well ask. Somebody here today need Uh need to to tighten up your prayer life. Somebody here today need to ask the Savior to help you. Uh Ask for guidance. Ask for strength. Ask for wisdom. Ask for some more love, some more faith. Need to ask. And then he would not answer. He wouldn't answer. And the disciples said, send her away. She bothered us. He was testing her. But the disciples had the wrong spirit. He, 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 he's trying to, she tried to show them something. They like, make her leave us alone. Yeah. When you know that there's only one place to have your request granted, there's no other choice but to be persistent. She would not give up in her quest. First of all, it was for her daughter. Second of all, she knew who the Savior really was. She like, ain't no way else for me to go. If it was somebody else in town, I'd be bugging them. Come on, preach out. Anybody know you can't get what you need from nobody else but the Lord? Amen. Anybody know that the, that the Lord is the only one that's going to give you abundant life? Amen. I know it. That's so. Amen. Good. This woman was persistent. Uh-huh. Luke chapter 18, Uh-oh. verse number 7. Right. Luke chapter 18, in that, in that text, is the parable of the persistent yes, widow. Right. She had a case. But this judge didn't want to hear. And she just kept bugging him. And kept bugging him. And he, and he said, even though I don't regard any man, this woman just going to drive me nuts because she will not leave me alone. So I'm going to grant 
her wish. And Jesus said, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? That's right. See how Jesus connected that persistence right. with faith? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, will the Lord avenge his subject who cried to him day and night? Yes, sir. It's hard to just pray for something once if it's important, isn't it? Right. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 you repeat that prayer over and over and over and over until the situation is resolved. Lord, you know I need this job. Lord, please, please don't let them shut down the plan or lay us off. Lord, you know I need this check. and I don't know how we're going to make it. We're barely making it with the check. We don't know what we're going to do if they lay everybody off. And I ain't got no money. And then I got to wait for unemployment. And that ain't going to be enough. You, know, Lord, you just pray it over and over and over and over. Isn't that right? Yeah. Somebody go in the hospital, you pray until they get out of the hospital. Yeah. Right? That's right? Yeah, somebody go in the surgery, you start praying when they roll them out, and you're praying all during the surgery. Yeah. Doesn't matter how long it takes. It's hard to just, when something is important. Amen. Yeah. And this woman had an important issue. It wasn't my daughter ran out and she ain't come home yet. No, she home, but she's sick. It ain't my daughter got the, got the flu. No. No, she got a devil. She got a, she got a real life situation. And Lord, there's nobody else I can go to. Church, that's what faith looks like. When you persistently go to God and know that your help can only come from him. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. Ain't nowhere else for me to go. So the disciples said, send her away. His answer was, I was sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Now that's where I was sent. In between the lines, it, they didn't want me. I was sent to them, but they rejected everything I tried to teach them. I was sent to them, but they want to try to trip me and trap me. I was sent to them, but I ain't found no faith in them. That's what he's saying. I was sent to the lost sheep of Israel. She was a Gentile. And see, Jesus knew God's plan all along that he would be gathering all together in Christ. But he was testing her. He lifted up an example of persistent and humbling faith out of the Gentile nation and held it up before the Hebrew nation and said, now that's what faith looks like. In our text, verse 25 says, she worshipped him. Oh, I love it. She wouldn't give up. She bowed herself and humbled herself before him by faith. Even before her request was granted, she worshipped him. Somebody said when praises go up, blessings come down. He already knew what he was going to do. But he wanted to see what she was going to do. And what did she do? She worshiped him. When we worship, we adore. When we glorify him and honor him, we give Jesus what he wants. He's looking for some worship for him. I wonder anybody here believe Jesus is worthy of our worship. Don't be like those who came sporadically and reluctantly because he's worthy of our worship. Rejoice in the invitation to sup with him because he's worthy of our worship. Don't miss your chance to praise him because he's worthy of our worship. Even in pain, you can worship. Even in poverty, you can worship. Before the blessing is granted, you can worship. Through hardship and chaos, you can worship. In tears, you can worship. In a crowd, you can worship. All by yourself, you can worship. The Lord is worthy of being worshipped. This woman came. She needed help. 
but before the help came, she didn't wait till after she found out her daughter was well. Before the help came, she worshipped him. We can't wait till our ship come in before we try to worship the Lord. You can't wait till all things are well. I've talked to people with Miss Church. Say, miss you, back, miss you for the last few weeks, sis. Well, you know, I'm going through something. Uh-huh. <laughs> wrong answer, wrong answer, wrong answer. Because if you're going through something, that's the show enough time to worship. If things ain't right in your life, that's show enough time to worship. If you ain't been feeling well, that's the time to worship. That's up. This woman didn't wait till she ain't had no more problem. She worshiping now. And I believe some of us need to start worshiping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John 4, Jesus said God is looking for folk to worship him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for y'all. Where you at? Where's the worshipers at? Somebody ought to have some worship going on up in here. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't need no cry. But I like what the psalmist said, let us exalt his name together. Yeah, yeah. He said magnify the Lord with. Because that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna lift him up. I'm finna show him who he is. I'm finna show him how much I love him. I'm finna show him my appreciation. I came to worship him. This is not a battleground. No. This is not a playground. No. This right here is holy ground. Yeah. I come in here to worship the Lord. Yeah. Show him how good he's yeah. been to me. Yeah. And even though I got some stuff that worries me, yeah. I know he got it. Yeah. He knew about it before I knew about yeah. it. He already fixed it. I just haven't got to the fixed part yet. Yeah. Y'all get what I'm talking about? Yes, it may get fixed on Thursday. Yeah. I ain't at Thursday yet. I just got to hold on. Yeah. yeah, the Lord is looking for me to hold on. But in the meantime, yeah. what you going to do, Walker? I'm going to worship him. Yeah. That's right. She worshiped him. Yeah, she did. Yes, sir. He did not come to minister to Gentiles. Oh, no. So it wasn't right to give the bread meant for the children of to the dogs. Uh-huh. She was willing yeah. uh-huh. to be called a dog. Uh-huh. Some of us would have forgot the request and said, who are you calling a dog? Uh-huh. Come on, reach out. You know how we are. Not, 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 not y'all, but somebody y'all know, right? Come on, reach out. Yeah. She said, he said, he said it's not good to give the children's meat to dogs. Uh-huh. She knew that the Jews regarded all Gentiles as dogs. That's right. She was already acutely aware of the racial climate of the times. That's right. Jesus was testing her. Do you want it badly enough to be a dog? Are you willing to sink so low to find relief for your child? Tell me who wouldn't. Call me what you want. Help my child. I'll be ever whatever you want me to be. Help my child. I'll be humble. I'll be put down. I'll even be a dog if you help my child. Is anything important enough for you to humble yourself before the master? Lord, I ain't got nothing. I don't know nothing. I can't do nothing. I got to rely all on you. So when Jesus said, it's not good for us to give the meat for the children to the dogs. She's like, I ain't even asking for a whole piece of meat. I'm just looking for the crumbs that fall up under the table. Do you see her humility? She's still worshiping. She's still, she's like, master, if you give me crumbs, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said, he said, if you, if, if even the, even the dogs can get some crumbs that fall from the table. God is looking at us, 
And he's looking for our faith. And I cannot overemphasize uh -huh. the importance of a reverent faith, Amen. a humbling faith, yeah. a trusting faith, and a persistent faith. Come on, Doctor. If you want an example, look at this woman. Because yeah. that's what faith looks like. That's right. She come humbly. Yeah. Say, just have some mercy on me, master. Yeah. You want to call me a dog that's I'm all good yes right but at least let me have a crumb okay I don't want a whole lot sometimes we want the whole thing yeah. Lord just give me some crumbs that's right. and everything will be all right. That's right look at what happens when we show Jesus our faith verse 28 says then Jesus answered and said unto her O woman great is thy faith yes sir be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. That's right. Not what other folk think you need. That's right. You showed enough faith. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I wanted to be with you what you will. That's right. Would anybody like a blank check from the Lord like that? I wanted to be like I will. She come in asking for mercy, right? Yeah. She said, my daughter's got a devil. Lord, you do what you see is necessary. And the Lord said, your faith is so great, I'm going to do whatever you think. Oh, y'all, y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. When, 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 when I yield my will to his will, He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all I can ask or think. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all act just like the disciples. Come on now. Y'all remember when, 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 when Jesus fed the 5,000 and he put his disciples in the boat. And after he fed the 5,000, yeah, 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 he said, I want you to take up all the scraps. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all help me, Bible school yeah, yeah. students. He said, I want you to take up all the scraps. Yeah. And they took up 12 baskets of extra. Yeah. They had more left over than they had when they started with. Yeah. And then they go to a boat. Yeah. And the Bible said the winds and the waves started. Yeah. You know, and Jesus come walking on the water. And he was going to pass them by. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He was going, he knew what it was. Yeah. He knew what they was doing. He was gonna pass it by. This ain't my brother. I'm gonna get back to my lesson in a second. He's going in and, 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 and when they saw him, they thought he was a ghost. Yeah. And he come to the ship, and y'all know the whole story. Yeah. Peter walking in and gets on it. He said, Y'all forgot yeah. the miracle of the loaves. Yeah. They couldn't make the connection yeah. between the bread and the boat. Yeah. They couldn't, take, they couldn't make connection about what he's already done yeah. to what I'm dealing with now. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. You're right. You're right, doctor. And so when I look at this woman, uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting the message that that's what faith looks like because right. Jesus said, great is your faith. Yeah. I don't want him to say I'm a great preacher. I don't want to say I'm a great teacher. I don't want to say I'm a great husband. I don't want to say I'm a great friend. But if he said I got some great faith, Amen. now you're talking. Amen. We got to show the Lord. Once we can show the Lord our faith, other folk will see our faith. Wow, she really does trust in the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Child, don't ask her because she ain't going to miss church. Say amen, somebody. Yeah, some of us would miss if it's cloudy. Yes, sir. This woman here showed us what faith looks like. She says, "I, I, I, I don't. Whatever you're gonna do, Lord, Lord, say, be it as you will." Church, I don't know what you face. I don't know what you need. Amen. I don't know the answer to your problem, but I do know God's grace. Yes, Amen. I don't know. I do know that we're his children. Yeah, uh -huh. He cares for us. Yeah. I've seen him uh -huh. in my life Amen. take a problem and turn it around Amen. for good. Yes, I've seen him yeah. turn a negative into a positive. Yes, 
I've seen him hold me up when problems try to knock me down. Matter of fact, I've seen him lift me up when problems have knocked me down. I've seen suffering saints go in problem and come out on the other side with tears of joy. I've seen broken hearts mended. I've seen relationships repaired. This woman received her request because she showed the master of oceans, earth, and sky that she had faith. In her situation, she didn't just get what she get. She got what she wanted. Yeah. When you trust in the Lord, even what you get might be what you need. But as long as the Lord is there with me, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. If I'm in the valley of the shadow of death, because if thou art with me, Show the Lord faith. Show him your faith. Show him your trust in him. And when you read the Bible record, we've been going through the Old Testament for, for, for since I've been here. And we've been seeing how God is looking for his people Israel to count on him. Just, just rely on me. Just trust me. When you come up on a problem, come to me, I'll take care of it. That's right. That's right? That's right? Yeah, yeah. In Egypt, God said, I've heard uh -huh. the crying of my people. Yes, I've seen their affliction, yes, and I will come down. And they got out, and they got out, and they had all the stuff they borrowed from the Egyptians. Hallelujah, praise uh -huh. Jehovah. We going to the promised land. They get to the Red Sea. God's like, don't worry. If you just trust me, I got you. They open the Red Sea, and they wow, we walk across on dry land. They get on the other side, Pharaoh's army is coming. Oh, Lord, if we get ready to get killed by God's like, don't worry. Trust me. He closed the sea up on them. And then they went a while, and they got thirsty. They couldn't find no water. They said, oh, Lord, Lord. He said, don't worry. Trust me. Yes, sir. I got this. Yeah. Here's some water. Uh -huh. yeah, he then they went and found some other water and it was bitter. Y'all know the story. They found it and they said, Lord, Lord, we can't drink this water. They're like, don't worry. Trust me. I got this. See that stick over there? Just grab that stick and throw it in there. Drink all the water you want. Lord, we hungry. We can't got find nothing to eat. Don't worry. Trust me. I got well we're gonna give that don't you worry about I'm gonna deliver it to you. Yes, sir. I'm gonna deliver it to you every morning. A full day supply. If you gather like I tell you, those that gather a lot won't have none left over. Those that gather a little won't run out. Y'all see this? Do y'all see God yet? He said, now, now let me tell you something. Now don't don't try to hide none for tomorrow. Because I want you to trust me. Yes. And then some of our cousins. Yeah, they did it anyway. Some of, some of our can't follow instructions cousins. Right. Come on, preacher. They tried to hide some. Uh -huh. And you go in that tent, girl, what is that smell? Uh -huh. You got some of that man up under there, don't you? You ain't gonna be eat that baby. Why not? I said save a little from yesterday. No, no, no. You ain't be eat that. Cause if you look at it, you'll see it got worms in it. Y'all, 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 y'all know God. And so Jesus has said, "You show me some faith, and I got you. I got you." He said, "Great is your faith." He didn't say. He didn't say to the disciples, "Y'all know this girl got a little faith." No, no, no. He says, sweetheart, great is your faith. Uh -huh. You can only please God That's right. by showing him your faith. That's right. uh -huh. Not your ability, no. but your faith. That's right. Not your intelligence, uh -huh. but your faith. That's right. Not your style uh -huh. or your flair, but your faith. That's right. 
Not your accomplishments, no. but your faith. Right. Not your bloodline, no. but your faith. Right. Not your bank balance, uh -huh. but your faith. Right. Not your social standing, no. but your faith. Right. It's got to be your faith. Amen. It is by faith that the elders obtained a good report. Amen. It's by faith that the word, that the world of word of God framed the world. It was by faith. Enoch was translated by faith Abraham left home at the call of God yeah. by faith Sarah conceived yeah. by faith uh, he believed the promise of God yeah. by faith yeah. Moses saved Israel yeah. by faith he kept the Passover yeah. by faith he crossed the Red Sea yeah. by faith Israel crossed over Jordan yeah. by faith Rahab was saved yeah. by faith Jericho fell yeah. by faith I believe that Jesus is the Christ yeah. by faith I've been added to his body yeah. by faith I believe the word of God and I obey him by faith. I trust him by faith. I worship him by faith. I, I adore him by faith. It's my faith that he's looking for. He doesn't care what school you went to or if you even went to school. He want to know do you have some faith. He looked at this woman. She wouldn't give up. She knew who he was. She knew he could fix what she needed fixing. She ain't asked for much. Just give me a couple of crumbs from the children's table, and I'm all good. You can give the babies all that you want. All I need is a crumb. Lord, have mercy. Anybody know a crumb from Jesus is more than anybody else can give you? A, a crumb from Jesus to take care of your situation? A, Somebody up in here ought to show the Lord some faith. Amen. Lord, I believe that you died for my sins. Lord, I believe your word that you're coming back for me again. I believe that you're coming back for your children, and I want to be your child. I'm going to show you my faith by believing that you are the son of God. I'm going to show you my faith by repenting of my sin, changing my lifestyle, making up my mind, I ain't going to live like this no more. I'm going to show you my faith by confessing that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. I'm going to show you my faith by coming and being baptized for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus is looking for us to show him some faith. Yeah, he told the persistent widow parable in Luke 18. He said, when the son of man coming, will he find faith in the earth? Guess what? That's what the Lord is looking for. Yeah, that's, that's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for us to rely on him. And I wonder if there's somebody this morning, somebody who's ready to rely on Jesus.